Okay, so all of you are resting-ish. Lexa is doing calisthenics in the middle of the room. Yeah. And Dell is meditating, and then... Yeah, while Lex is doing calisthenics, Aelin will um, kind of be wandering around and kind of groggily looking at the wall and such. <laughs> wondering where the brandy is. <laughs> oh dear. So how long does it take me to have these visions? Like an hour. Okie dokie. I was wondering if anyone was doing things other than, like, during that hour. Is this after we've slept? Um, that would be at yeah. an hour, Stefan, so yeah. If you... Like, it would be eight hours, like, right when I was done having visions. By the time you finished that, I would have just entered my force trance, like, half an hour before. I'm confused now. You had a lot of dark side City points, didn't you? For eight hours. Plenty. You know, knowing about that crystal thing would have been really useful on that station. <laughs> uh, what? Where's Raelius? Wasn't he coming by? It's like uh, 7 a.m. right now. So he's not on watch? Uh, he's the Admiral. Yeah, I get that. Okay, so Dell isn't saying anything. Wait, I wasn't sure like when these things were taking place relative. Like, am I like, my patients are done? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Dell's just gonna get up and walk over to the doctor. Doctor, I need to speak to the Admiral immediately. I stop and look at the two as they converse. Who drew this weird black line on my screen? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Put Dell back on the little black line and then look at, look at it again. See, it, he has Del's a giant a, mustache? Dell's above that for me, so I couldn't even see it. Yeah. We drew a mustache on him. Apparently he just left it on the bed. Who, who's this we? The conspirators. Okay. <clears throat> the doctor <laughs> says, Well, actually, the Admiral is going to be visiting you guys any minute now. Any minute? Like, in the next 30 seconds? If he's not here in the next 30 seconds, it'd be really great if like, we could speed him up. What's the problem? Like, I literally just relayed the results that none of you are contaminated in any way, so now he's coming down to visit. Can you make him know that it's, like, super urgent, like, the life of his crew that's still... Is the is that science crew still on the asteroid? Science crew? I don't know. You mean Captain Pearson? Yeah. Were they on the asteroid? I don't know. You're helpful. Well, shouldn't you know about that, seeing as they should probably go through decontamination processes as well? Well, I guess that would have been good for me to know. I guess I'd better start prepping some more uh, examination materials. Yeah, it was about six soldiers, him, and the Jedi. What's going on, Del? I had a vision. Darth Krufay and Darth Vicar are going back to the asteroid. Didn't okay, then probably the, uh, off there the right Admiral now. walks in. He's dressed in some pretty fancy-looking clothes. Is he wearing a cape? Please tell me he's wearing a cape. Well, if you look at his picture, he is wearing a cape. Oh, what a tool. <laughs> <laughs> Admiral? Uh, sorry. You also see that he's carrying a bottle of brandy. Oh, this guy oh, smokes gosh. slims, I can tell. No, the brandy's for me. Or whiskey, or whatever. 
Was it brandy or whiskey? I can't remember. Brandy. Brandy. Okay. Iridonian brandy. Yes. Well, hello, Republic citizens. Which one of you wanted the brandy? And he holds it out. Well, salutations, Admiral. That would be me. Um, thank you very much. Admiral, um, sorry. He salutes to back to you. And gives nice you the introduction bottle. short. But um, I just had a vision that the Sith that left us stranded after we kind of foiled their plans, they're headed back to the asteroid. Is that science team still? Is uh, the captain and the Jedi still on the asteroid? Oh no, they got back a couple hours ago. We have urgent matters, as I told you guys. Well, Lieutenant Arvis told you over the comms. We have to get back okay. to it, so we couldn't spare yeah. many hours for examination of the asteroid. If you, if you, so why aren't they? If we're still here, quarantine? you should probably bombard that asteroid. Yeah, you should blow that up with lasers. They were all wearing medical scanners when they went on. I thought that that would be sufficient to see that they're all in good health. Okay. So I think it's probably a good idea to blow the asteroid up. We're probably not in this area anymore, are we? No, we already probably. jumped back to hyperspace. Well, that's unfortunate. It's better than the alternative. Never mind then. Urgency is no longer as pressing as I thought it might be. Well, so if I'm we head back there and they don't have a fleet, we could eliminate two pretty powerful Sith Lords real quickly. But or we have we what they were looking for. And they for. do have a fleet, we're in big trouble. They're looking for that data chip that you left with the captain. Okay, yeah, yeah, then we should not go back. Yeah, we don't want to give them any opportunities to get it. Well, you know, this. I'd love to hear the full story so I know what's going on with asteroids and data chips, and Sith Lords and fleets. So, why don't you all join me for a nice uh, lunch? with myself and my wife in my quarters. And you can explain the whole situation to me. Sounds good to me. Okay, well, how about we say we meet at about five, in about five standard hours then, if there aren't any more pressing concerns. Yeah, um, do we have quarters that we could move to instead of being here since they've cleared us? Ah, yes. Uh, we have cleared a little space for you in some of the crew quarters. I'll send Lieutenant Arvis to escort you there. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you folks? Well, other than somehow managing to destroy that asteroid, no, I think we're good for the moment. But it's obviously not as great as important as probably whatever mission you're on. Thank okay. you again for the Brandy Admiral, and have a good day, and we'll see you in five hours. Excellent. Then he leaves. I need to talk to you guys once we get to our quarters. All right. Bo says, are you talking about the Admiral? Don't mock him, he's a great man. I'll take your word for it. The get-up's just hilarious. Well, we all follow him with our lives. He puts the lives of his crew before his own. I mean, he put your lives ahead of the mission of our vessel. I mean, I think that shows what kind of character he has. No need to get defensive. I'm talking about outfits here. I'm well, sure yeah. Great. Maybe it is a little bit over the top. Is it regulation? Out of out of what is this? Is this an enlisted man, Kyrath? Because enlisted men never ever fail to make fun of the admiral when he's not listening. Yes, this is an enlisted person. Well, then you're not doing your job right. <laughs> <laughs> he just really likes the admiral. 
He's an engineer. He doesn't deal with them that much. <laughs> but also, if you say anything more about that, he'll also say, yeah, well, his wife is also my boss, too, so... That's a tough row to hoe. She's the uh, chief engineer. Wait, shouldn't that mean that there's extra fun making of the Admiral? Or a desire not to get fired. Slash yeah. court martial. Maybe. Discipline. I was um, only talking about his stupid cape! I don't know anything <laughs> about the man. <laughs> Latrine Except duty, maybe? he wears a cape. <laughs> Are we going to the, our, our our state rooms? Yeah, I'm turning the lights coming. on. I'm turning the lights on. The courts. Bo hadn't blown up the whole engineering section. Maybe we could have lights. <laughs> no, we only disable the shield, not the lights. Okay. Yes, yeah, much better. Lieutenant Arvis comes in. So, how are you guys all feeling? You ready to head to your uh, quarters? Yes, well, that'll, hey. that'll do fine. I want to ask him, so, where's the ship's store, and do they sell capes? <laughs> <laughs> are you asking Arvis or Bo that? John, were you asking Bo or Arvis? Arvis. I'm sorry, okay. I didn't hear what you said. Yeah. He he looks at you when you start asking about the store, and then when you ask about the caves, then he just starts laughing. <laughs> he says, well, I'm afraid that cape's one of a kind. You won't be able to buy one for yourself. Well, that's a shame. Then Arvis says to the doctor, Well, doc, are they all healthy and ready to go? And then IL-33 says, Affirmative. Says, Okay, see you around, doc. If you all follow me. Look at Dirk to make sure he's actually following us, since I asked him how he was doing earlier and he said nothing. <laughs> I, I was gonna leave him here. <laughs> he's safer with the Republic cruiser than he is with uh, than he is following us. You just have to face it, guys. He's a permanent ta NPC tag along this group. No, we can deal. We can get rid of him if we try hard enough. <laughs> He's like that guy in every RPG that just sits in your camp and sells you things. That's his role. Yeah, he sells. I don't want one of those. I don't I think, think any of us want to buy insurance, insurance policy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he's like that guy, except he won't sell us anything. <laughs> except true, true, true. Valid. I'm just saying, his role is similar. Well, next time you get a super awesome weapon, then you may want to take some insurance out on it. Like, my class could take out insurance on his awesome staff thing. Oh, come on, they don't insure rare... I'd have to get some sort of really expensive insurance for that. Because that's not mass-produced. You can't just replace that. I didn't say he sold cheap insurance. <laughs> Okay, so... For only 10,000 credits a month. 
takes you down <laughs> some corridors. And um, you don't have to go down any elevators. It's still on the same floor. And um, takes you to some large like rooms where there's just like a bunch of bunks and personal area but there's like this small area that's been cordoned off for you guys and they put up some uh, like temporary like screens to sort of enclose it off for you guys are there showers at all yeah I could bathe yeah there are like men's and women's showers uh, like in the uh, south part of this giant room. Max has straight to the shower. Okay. Um, Max has to the I rather blurrily follow. Uh. I imagine Max House needs a shower too. It's been a, every, I imagine Max House needs a shower. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone takes a shower. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking I might like to find a change of clothes before I do so I can put clean clothes on my body. After I wash it. Because it's a stealth field generator, he doesn't need clothes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, the, lieutenant, the lieutenant says, oh, if you guys need any clothes or something, there are probably some spare uniforms in the uh, dressers underneath these bunks here. And we can clean your current clothes for you. That's okay. Suddenly, Picasso is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I take a change of clothes. Yes. Oh, what the? Probably what happened? A good idea. What? I don't know. My token did something weird. Where am I? Am I lost? You moved into Thank the you. hallway. We didn't accident. Um, I'm not sure about running around in a Republic Naval uniform. Do you have any civilian clothing? Like, um... Do you not um, have an exchange on board? I'll see what I can find. Well, that crap. But for right now, we just have Tell this. me where the exchange is. I can, I can buy them. Don't you have a store where sailors can buy things? candy bars and magazines and whatever we do all of our purchases on the worlds that we visit when's your next shore excursion should be about in uh, three days I think navy uniform it is I guess I bundle up a navy uniform and head for the showers So is everyone going to shower? Yeah, after... Yep. After yeah, don't worry, I I'm, 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 I'm typing. Okay. Yeah, after I torture Del, I'll, I'll, I'll head for the shower. Um, once I finish with my shower, I change into the uniform so that I could have my, my other clothes cleaned, but... I put on, like, the pants and the boots and whatever, but I leave the undershirt untucked. And I rip off the sleeves of the, like, vest and take off any parts that identify it as Republic. So I can make it into a kind of a, a vest. And then I, I carve my symbol into, like, one of the chest uh, pocket areas. <laughs> okay. But I'm not giving that back. Hey, they said I could wear it. They didn't specify it had to be in good condition afterwards. And I don't really want to wear the <laughs> uniform myself, so. Yeah, I wonder if they have anything small enough for, for, for guys. 
What if borrowing a car from a friend was like that? You said they could borrow your car. You didn't say I had to not crash it into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't my friends, okay? Clearly. But I leave my hair down and then I go to like one of the beds and just kind of clean my sword, go through my things, that kind of thing. So, Arvis is still here? He went to go look for some civilian clothes. Oh, okay. Dell's just gonna leave. use okay. the use the shower things to like kind of wash his clothes out. So it'll just be wet looking for a while. Okay, so eventually Arvis comes back, <clears throat> and he has a couple of pairs of like regular like civilian clothes. Well, I have this, John. I'm sorry, Joanna was talking to me. She just got back from birthday party. What what's happening? Uh, Lieutenant Arvis just came back, and he told you that he had some pairs of civilian clothes that he found. Okay. He oh, looks at um, Alexa. Well, that's an interesting look. I like to make my mark on things. I can see that. Aileen just smirks at Alexa. Did I, I miss something? To, I go back to cleaning my sword right in front of him. She tore the sleeves off her coat and left the shirt untucked and carved her, uh, symbol on the jacket as well as removing all Republic symbols on the jacket. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Lieutenant, where are we headed? You guys are headed so shortly to lunch with the Admiral. Where is the ship headed? Oh, the ship. Uh, we're headed to some system in Sith space. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what a junior lieutenant says when he doesn't know. <laughs> I immediately stop what I'm doing and look right at him. Because everybody space? knows, everybody knows when junior lieutenants know something, they want to tell everybody. Well, or maybe he was instructed not to tell us. Either way, we're having lunch with the admiral, so maybe he'll tell us, or maybe he won't. We'll find out. And I'll send you showers. Why not? While we're yeah. walking there, I position myself next to him. Um, did no one else hear him say Sith space? We were already yes. in Sith space, Alexa. We've been in Sith space for a couple of days now. But now we're going further in. I mean, yes, but hey. We don't have better than being stuck on the asteroid. Hey, did we discuss? Better. Did we discuss your vision? Did you tell us about what it, what it was? One more hour won't hurt it. Well, or like the fifteen minutes it's going to take me to take a shower won't change it. I need to think about some things. Well, I assume this is after. Wait, everyone shower. already took showers. Did we do that already? Oh, uh -huh. we came bring the clothes afterwards. No. Uh huh. What, what I'm getting, what I'm getting at is, are we gonna talk about it before we go to meet with the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd probably be a good idea. We'll have out with it. Yeah, is the lieutenant still here? Uh huh. Yeah, no. We all stare at him to leave. Well, you might want to excuse yourself. Um, it could involve some top secret information that might get you killed. You might want to back out. 
smooth. <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have some information, oh, but you guys would like to know suave. where to go, where the ship on a secret Republic mission is going. I see. I have a blaster. I have a sniper rifle. Do you want to meet one of them? Oh my goodness. Can we not Aylid. start a Are you wow. really? No, that was Aylid. out of character. That was out of character. <laughs> Because if it wasn't, then I was going to take your pistol from you with the fork. <laughs> okay, that wasn't in character. Correct. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> that's not nervous. something he that would do. Made things <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll be back in a couple of hours to take you to your, your lunch with the Admiral. I like the leaves. And he awkwardly stands there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> he leaves, he stands there while I scroll to the map where I'm trying to move him to. Okay. So, the major part of the vision, which mentioned earlier, Kalani, you missed it while you were asleep, but um, Darth Krufe and Darth Vicker were heading back to the asteroid to, ironically, uh, search our bodies because they think we're dead. Well, not anymore now that they've been back on the asteroid, which is a shame that we couldn't destroy it, because then they wouldn't know we were still alive. Well, we don't have that ace up our sleeves anymore, but they were looking for data on that, how that crystal was made. They're basically, Darth Krufe's plans require it, but they're trying to get enough information to, to basically recreate it. That's what their plan is right now. And also, they're very upset at us. Um, well, duh. And a, and wait, 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 wait. What are they trying to recreate? Uh, the, the thing mutants? we destroyed. No, the thing we destroyed. I think oh, those the, the were an earlier artifact form. Dude? Yeah, I think for somehow that was like an earlier form of something that they were trying to do, which ended with the creation of this crystal. That was housing this force beast thing. But again, since we didn't get to decode the rest of the chip, I don't know what's on it, and exactly what it well, does. I mean, I would assume, would assume I downloaded the contents of the chip that I was translating. The other thing is, they don't know we're still alive. They, all they know is that we're not on the asteroid anymore. Nobody, they assume we're alive. That's the unfortunate thing. Well, assuming that we're alive and knowing it for a fact are two different things. That's not the problem. The problem is, somehow... I think they know who we were, or are. What do you mean? Who's we? I'm not anybody. Yeah, they made some... When I saw them talking, they made some comments that they were going to try and go after other people that we know. Because they already thought we were dead. You know what? I have a good idea. Show us the vision like you did with the other ones. That'll make us all faster. I can. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it means, though. I'd like to have a handle on it before I show everyone everything. Because I don't think I have all the pieces yet. We don't want to do something we'll, well, we'll regret later, because we think we know what's going on. So, so you're the one to make the decision? I thought just, Elon was the leader. Just give me a few more hours after we have this lunch to try and figure out, to see if I can see anything else, and then I'll share it. With, I'll show it all to you. Well, what about the Navy? Are you going to share everything with them? Uh, I wasn't planning on it. They don't need to know anything else. I already told them the thing about the data chip, and obviously they're going to ask us what we're doing on the asteroid. And there's no reason they can't know that the Sith were planning to unleash the thing that was in that crystal. So, in fact, it could be helpful that they know. As for the rest of what I saw, they don't need to know any of it. Why not? Why not? It's more relevant on personal basis. They won't care, basically. Is any of it relevant to me? Look, just give me a few more hours, see if I can find anything more that'll help potentially make something I saw more concrete. And then we can go from there, because otherwise we're just going to go through idle speculation. The important thing now is we need to figure out what was on that chip so we can figure out if they can in fact recreate the crystal and if they would be able to find 
I'm going to try and see if they could they found the information they were looking for on the asteroid in a different source. Or if that was the only source of the information. Because other than that, if if they can get the information another way and they can try and recreate it, we need to stop. But if they didn't, then he already stopped them. And that was probably terribly confusing. Well, I don't see what the point there is in waiting, but I mean, we can't do anything to force you, so. Yeah. Just give me a couple hours peace and quiet before we go, and I'll try and see if, what else I can see, and I'll share it with you. Well, right now we've got, uh, we've got this one right, and we've got a lunch uh, lunch date, so take what time you yeah, need. Yeah, in a couple hours. Okay. Yeah, take what time you need. Right, while he's right, doing, well, while he's doing that, do we have anyone who we need to worry about? Friends or family that you don't have to tell me who. Just say yes or no. Do you have friends or family that the Sith would want to kill? Well, my master, but they would already want to kill her, being a Jedi. Unfortunately, yeah, I didn't take you into account, uh, Kalani, but. Uh, I figure they want to kill you just cause, so... Mm. The only family I have on Ventum is my parents. They're both Sith collaborators. I haven't spoken to them in years. You should probably expect them to be dead then. Or at least prepare for the worst. Uh. They pick their path. I know it's harsh, lad. Harsh? Double take him. <laughs> um... Alright. Okay, could we, um, pause the game-related discussion while I quickly tell Kylo his other vision? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I wanted to be present for this discussion as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. it took me a while. We can play out that conversation while he's present, but yeah. Well, I mean, it is recorded. You can always see it later. I think he wants yeah, to know what's going on true. as he does the rest of it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this will this will only take like a minute. So, everyone talk about which Star Wars episode is the best. Okay, go. <laughs> Three. Well, User obviously, one or four is the best. Must okay, now time. secret plans behind their backs. <laughs> Must have time. <laughs> okay, just give me a sec to zoom back in. So how are we going to divide up uh, Kylo's stuff after we kill him? <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else think it's really kind of a mistake to, to be so secretive with the Navy? Maybe if we include them in this, we could use them as an ally? They could help yes, us? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's an awful lot of resources and strength. on the they had, whole, they had a whole space cruiser. We should be making friends with them. From a player perspective, it makes sense, but as far as my character is concerned, there's a lot of cause here to be cautious. And we just met these guys and they just happened to be passing by us. Well, do you think they're not who they say they are? I don't know. It's a little strange having, I mean, the Admiral. Well, don't worry, I'm going to read all of their minds. <laughs> it's a little strange that the app just changed course for us. We're nobodies. User joined your channel. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a Star Wars episode I'm familiar with. What? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Carry on. What? Okay, so everyone was talking about whether they had loved ones that the Sith would want to attack? Yeah. I 
I do. I, I have people that they would hurt. Not me. All right. Just so long as you have people that they would hurt. Where are those people located? I don't know. I don't... We move. I don't know where they are. All right. That's probably a good thing for them. Uh, don't worry. Uh, I'll do what I can to help make sure that they stay safe. Oh, I see Dell has a mustache again. <laughs> Except it's blue this time. It is a very poor mustache. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't... It, it wanted to do a box instead of freehand. and It's like, really? And then a polygon in a line. And it's like, no, why are you doing this t now? I wanted a freehand. Maybe Dell needs a medical checkup. I mean, he's growing multicolored mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I concur. Full, full scan. <laughs> Not only that, after he grows it, if he moves, it just falls off his face. Yeah, that... Uh, and stays floating midair. That might be of concern. <laughs> Is that the new force power you picked when you leveled up? Force stash. <laughs> I approve. Hey, if you can teach it to others, then even women can have a handsome mustache. Ew. <laughs> Do you want to get slapped or lightsabered? Well, I mean, if you shaved Kalani right, she'd have a mustache too. too. Don't listen to them, they're just jealous. It's a shame there's no forced beard. I have that in real life. <laughs> I mean, I have both in real life, and I find them annoying. Ooh, I've got someone else attacking me in the face. How many more people can I make that be before uh, the end of the campaign? Oh dear. Oh, by the way, Kara, could I have downloaded the data on that chip before I gave it to them? You could have done that. I don't think you did, though. Yeah, you never said you did that. Yep. Time to go stealing things. <laughs> could we roll wisdom to see if I was smart enough to think of it? There were three days. <laughs> if you get a net 20 on your wisdom, so you can go ahead Can't and roll. Let's take it at nat 1. Nat, nat 1, he corrupted heart. the data. Nope. Uh oh. Yeah, you That's didn't not a that. nat 1. It's just a 10. I should still have the translations, though. Of what I already translated. Yeah, you have that. Oh, well, I'm just gonna go back to translating the book thing. Okay. So, so how long am I, uh. Like um, an hour. Out of the conversation. Okay. Dirk says, I have family back on Ventuin that the Sith could hurt too. <laughs> no one Mine are dead. I, so 
um, I, I don't, I just don't like being around them. responding to John. Nobody likes doctors. They're weird and they poke you. <sighs> do you remember... Do you remember when I spoke of the... I could breathe in space? Oh yeah, I remember that. That wasn't six weeks ago, that was, what was it, three days ago? Yes. <laughs> is, it, is it because you're a secret android? Are you a cyborg? Her, like, total expression is just, like, red, and she looks at you with, like, wide eyes and just says, Yes. I knew it. Wait, which one? A cyborg or a secret android? There are things about me that are not... They let me do things, but they're not exactly legal. Secret android. I knew it. <laughs> I, I don't really know how to respond. Lexa says that's not me. She like goes back to, to looking at her data pad. She glances up at like at you nervously and then goes back to her data pad and like just kinda does that back and forth, like looking for a way out of the room or whatever she, situation she's in. Kaz just has an eerie tomb open on his lap. I mean, everybody, nobody likes doctors, but you seem particularly perturbed by him. What do you, what do you mean you can do things that are illegal? And Dirk says, are you saying that you have illegal cybernetic implants? Sure. Cyborg, dang it! I knew I should have gone with my first instinct. Not secret answer. <laughs> well, look, at any rate, I, it's just us for everyone. I'm not looked at too closely. At least my insights. I know that that sounds weird, and I don't, I'm not very good at this, so you'll just have to take that. So can you, like, shoot disintegration beams out of your hands or something? That would be are definitely illegal. <laughs> no, I have not gotten that upgrade yet. Yes! She tries to smile, like she's making a joke. That should be next on your list. Is Brady what you're calling the, uh, the Sith Assassin, Anon? Ah, uh, Brandy. Not Brady. Brandy.